So after much trial and error, I am finally able to get the proper response curve on my 1948 RCA black and white television chassis. And what we are trying to do here is align the 21.25 megahertz sound IF to the proper um, response. And it's hard to see the marker on the top there, but it's there. You can see it dancing around the top of the curve. Um, I got to give the old guys a lot of credit back in the day for having to figure these things out. Because um, they have equipment now that makes this a lot easier. But using the original old equipment, my old uh, 368 ICO and an analog scope. Um, the only cheater I have here is the frequency counter. Um, I was able to do it after several starts and stops. The key here was to keep the marker frequency on the frequency counter and keep that lock solid follow all the directions make sure all the leads were short and everything and then use the sweep width in order to dial the curve in in other words the sweep width is going to be the center frequency the center frequency is locked for sure if you have the marker frequency locked for sure so Anybody out, that's, out there that's trying to get this done, um, that's the secret. And I can't say I figured it out myself. I watched several people on YouTube. Um, I watched this done when I was a young man. I'm 62 now. Um, I worked as an electronics technician many years ago. And I never could quite get the technique. And um, that's it. It's follow the marker. Good luck.